When it comes to video, lighting is everything. But ain't nobody got money for that? In this video, I'm going to show you how to film yourself using natural light only. So open up those curtains and let's get started. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida. I teach you how to film yourself so you can start creating profitable video content that actually grows your business. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Wonderful Ida. First thing you're going to have to figure out is when is the optimal time in your room or space that you're filming in for filming. So to do so, you're going to have to observe what the light's like in that room. The thing you're trying to avoid is any direct sunlight. Direct sunlight will create odd shadows that will move through the room as you're filming. This will make it harder when you're editing later. So you're looking for a window in time where the light is evenly distributed through the room and there's no direct sunlight coming in. Unless you want to remain anonymous in all your videos, you're not going to want the window behind you. However, if that's something that you can't avoid, you can help the shot by bringing in a reflector. What this will do is stop you from looking like a silhouette. If you don't have a reflector, then I suggest you go to the dollar store. You can get either a big piece of white bristle board or a project display board. These are both great at bouncing light. By facing the window, your face is going to look nice and bright and the light is going to be evenly distributed on your face. There is a challenge though, however, if the light is too bright. If it's too bright, you can either physically move back or if you can't physically move back, you can close the curtains. The curtains will create a nice diffusion that will make the light a little bit more evenly spread out. If you don't have curtains, you can always hang a white sheet. To create a more cinematic look, you're going to want the window to your side. This is going to create some more contrast within your face. So you're going to have one brighter side and then a darker side. With side lighting, you want to avoid standing in the center of the window. Instead, move over to one of the corners so that all the light falls nicely on your face. If you don't like the contrast between the light side and the dark side and you think it's too intense, you can fix this. So once again, we're going to bring in our trusty reflector or Bristol board and put it on the opposite side. One thing you want to be careful for with this is not to have the reflector behind you or to the side of you. Instead, make sure it's in front of you so that way it has a larger surface area that's going to bounce that light onto your face nicely. You'll soon find out that there's some drawbacks to filming with natural light. Your shooting schedule depends on the sun, and if you live in Vancouver or Great Britain, you might not get the sun for a few days. In the winter, your days are getting shorter, so you only have a limited window of time. Pun intended. The next step would be getting lights. Make sure you watch my ring light versus softbox video to help you decide which one's best for you. Do you want to make videos but hate talking to camera? I can help. Sign up for my free Film Yourself Challenge where I teach you how to get comfortable talking to camera. Thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment. I have new videos out every Wednesday. Until next time, peace! Or if you don't want to get one of these, anything that's big and white should do the trick. <laughs>